Hello, I'm Robbie Daw, the managing editor of idolater.com, and you're watching Popping Up here on the website. And today, on this hot and sweltering, <laughs> sticky New York day, we have the one and only Zendaya with us. Thanks so much for joining us. Of course, thank you for having me. So let's go back to growing up in Northern California. How did you first get an interest in the theater? I've always been surrounded by um, really, truly, you know, art artistry, real true artistry ever since I was little. Like when I, um, my mom, she worked at the California Shakespeare Theater ever since I was like, I don't know, two years old. And that's where I kind of grew up. And so just seeing that level of creativity and on like, you know, the Shakespearean level, you know, I was an eight year old that fell in love with Shakespeare and could actually understand what he was saying, which doesn't usually happen. You know, we would take, sometimes it's hard for adults to understand what he's saying, you know. So you said your mom, she was involved in the theater there. Um, was she encouraging when she realized that you, this is something that you wanted to do? Of course. I mean, she wasn't the actress. She was the house manager. So she like ran the patron side of things. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, both my parents are very supportive of what I do. I didn't feel like I was taking a risk because I knew it was going to happen. And I knew that something was going to come along at some point. I just didn't know when, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, we would start auditioning um, out in LA when I was like maybe like 12 and my dad he quit his job and we did that whole thing and uh, within the first six months I got shake it up. Tell you what how about we have a little dance off to see who wins the platform. You got so your music career mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about replay why did you go with that as the first single from your upcoming album? I think that song, it was one of those songs that when I first heard it, I fell in love with it and I was like, I have to have this song, you know? And it's so extraordinary because it's like that pop, dubstepy tone, weird, quirky sounds in the background and like this really almost R&B like kind of melody. Yeah. And I think that that counteracts with it and does something really cool and makes it not like your standard, typical pop music. I think the same thing. When I heard it, I'm like, well, this is pop, but it's, it sounds like old school R&B to me, like maybe a little bit of 90s vibe. And then, yeah. You know. I mean, uh, a lot of things like I think is cool is like I get a lot of comments saying the voice sounds like Aaliyah. Ah, and I was yeah. like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. If people think my voice sounds like Aaliyah, I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so while we're on the topic of music, what can we expect from your album? You can expect a lot of stuff, obviously more rhythmic pop, <laughs> but um, you know, I'm trying to take pop music and do something with it so it's not just like pop, like just pop music, you know? <laughs> um, because I want it to be more than that, you know? I want it to be more than what everything else is on the radio. It is a tough age to be 16, but um, that brings me to the last question for this part. Um, it's probably the most important question you're gonna get asked this year, so get ready. Do you have your driver's license yet? No. <laughs> it's a very, very, very tender subject. Um, well, you see, um, here's the deal. I would love to, I just don't have time. So, I really can't do anything. I mean, all I, all I, all I need it for, I, li I live up on a hill. Mm -hmm. All I want to do is be able to go down the hill <laughs> and get my own ice cream when I want to get it. That's like, it's like, it's not, I don't want to party. I don't want to do anything other than get in that car, safely and responsibly drive down the street and get a McFlurry and or haagen coffee ice cream. Well, Zendaya, thank you very much for joining us here at Idolater for popping up. And um, I'm sure our readers and your fans learned a lot about you today. So thank you very much. Thank you for having me.